Thanks, Brett. Well, Brett just told us about those winds. So listen up. It's been about a year since the destructive storm system tore through the Northeast. You may remember the storm that produced destructive winds and huge hail in the mid-state. It left thousands of home and car owners dealing with cleanup and costly repairs. And now, almost a year later, many are still filing claims to get that damage repaired. Jaron is the general manager at the Exterior Company, and he's going to share some things we all should know as we head into what really is traditionally a stormy season, spring here in the Mid-State. So let me ask you this. When a storm rolls through the area, it brings those heavy winds, hail. Of course, that causes a lot of damage. So what should a homeowner do immediately following a storm? Well, naturally, following a, a big storm event, uh, homeowners will go outside and survey the damage and uh, see what damage they have to their property. Um, now, some damage is easy to see, but uh, hail damage on a roof is, is, is quite hard. Um, so, uh, that being said, you should get an inspector to come out and take a look. So, even if you walk out on your property and you don't see any clear things like you know you see a few tree branches down or something like that but you really should have somebody come up and check your house is it because maybe a homeowner doesn't really know what he or she is looking for or like you said you just can't see it from down below a little bit of both um, hail damage on a roof is is very hard to see from the ground so when you're on the roof uh, what happens when hail impacts the the asphalt shingles uh, the granules um, uh, loosen exposing the um, asphalt matting uh, to the UV rays of the sun and eventually over time that will turn into a leak. Oh brother. Okay, so another question for you. Um, so I think some people are maybe hesitant to call because they think this is going to be a really costly expense, but homeowners insurance, how does that play a role? So homeowners insurance will cover it if it's a storm. Uh, hail storms are um, an act of God, uh, so essentially um, your insurance company will cover it and it will cost you just your deductible uh, to, to get your roof replaced if there's damage sufficient to, to replace the entire roof. What about ultimately will that make um, like our, our rates go up? That's we get that a lot. Um, essentially, uh, since this is an act of God, it's a it's a, a catastrophe. Um, essentially, your rates won't go up individually uh, based on you filing a claim, and that's actually just the opposite. Uh, the insurance companies might actually. Um, essentially uh, raise the rates of in a geographic area. Um, okay. So your proximity to the storm could depend on if your rates will go up regardless if you file a claim or not. Interesting. So what I'm hearing is even if you suspect maybe something could be wrong or you see storm damage in your neighborhood, really treat it as a better safe than sorry approach. Of, make a call. Of course. Yeah. Make a call to, to the exterior company. Uh, we'll come out. We'll do a free inspection. Uh, we'll verify that the damage is there. And uh, if the, the damage is present, we'll go ahead and uh, notify your insurance company with you and uh, work with them to uh, uh, determine the damage to your house. You know, we're looking at some video here. What is the process like? It's, it's pretty simple. Um, we, we like to send large crews um, to the uh, events uh, to, to uh, do the work on the roof. Um, we try to get in and out in, in as little time as possible to try and not disrupt the homeowners' lives. Um, so typically we can do a day or two uh, for the repair. And it's, it's pretty quick and we clean up after. So uh, it's a brand new roof um, as quickly as possible. And then just finally, back to just kind of backtracking to last May storm. Most insurance companies, I understand, really give you kind of a time limit on when you can file a claim, right? Yes. Now, every insurance company is different, but most uh, give you about 12 months after the hail event or the storm event. Um, so if you're confused, you can call your insurance company. Uh, you can ask them what the time to file is. Uh, but if you were involved in that, la if you're in the path of the last May uh, storm, uh, you want to give us a call as soon as possible so we can get out there and get the process started. Very good. Well, thank you. This is great information, Jaron. Thank you very good much. Good to have you. Well, there you go. As we head into the stormy season, or if you were in the path of last May's hail storm, you want to give the exterior company a call because besides roof even it also handles gutters and siding. So that number is 5530232. You also can find them on Instagram, Facebook, or online at theexteriorcompany.com. Coming up next, not only are we getting a delicious recipe in a SNAP lesson, but we're learning more about SNAP education and how it's helping low-income families.